Whatever you calling my phone for, I don't want it I see some things, every connection's nothing that I want And it's time to have some fun, spend some love, throw some money I'm not in the house no more, fucked up and worried Let go of me, let go of me I said let go of me, let go of me What's up y'all, it's your girl Katora and welcome to Katora's World So today we are going to be talking about 5 tips on how you can elevate your life and become the person that you've always wanted to be. So if you're into this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you get notified every time your girl posts that video. And yeah, let's get into these tips. Okay, you guys, so the first tip is going to be upgrading your skincare routine. So if you are not someone who has a skincare routine, um, doesn't have a regimen it will be best that you find one especially if you have problem areas and you have different concerns with your skin such as acne hyperpigmentation um, wrinkles anything of that nature um, it will be best for you to get a skincare routine that will really help you out with your glowing up process and also help you feel confident in the process this could include cleansing moisturizing using serums using sunscreens and also exfoliating because it's so exfoliating the skin really does wonders trust me i know but the thing with doing a skincare routine you have to be consistent consistency is key in order for you to see results you're not going to wash your face one or two times and using a regimen and see results you might see a little bit of improvement here and there but to get the full benefit it's best that you be consistent second tip is nourishing the body yes now i'm not saying to go on a full salad diet and you're only able to eat fruits and vegetables but you have to be mindful of the things that you put into your body the things that you eat you start to become because it starts showing on your skin it starts showing uh, coming out of your pores it starts showing on your breath like different things that you eat causes different reactions to the body try to stay away from fast foods try to stick to more lean meat try to eat vegetables fruits try to drink more water water is like it does wonder to the body and to the skin and also try to be more cautious about the snack foods that you eat because a lot of that processed food is really bad for your body also drinking a bunch of caffeine isn't really good for the body either i know i know my girls like to drink the starbucks and the dunkin donuts i'm a dunkin donuts drinker and if i drink too much coffee i get acne on my chest right here so definitely be mindful of what you put into your body and also it shows in your hair and it shows in your nails and you know you don't want to have brittle hair dry hair you know excessively oily hair because of the things that you're putting into your body it also contributes to your energy levels you don't want to be all slumped over and feeling sluggish and feeling like you don't have the energy to do anything so definitely be mindful of that aspect as well plus when you eat good it starts showing on your skin like i said and you start glowing and you start looking all radiant everybody be like oh girl you're glowing I see you girl I'm like yeah that was my fruit yeah <laughs> so definitely be mindful of what you eat now this next thing comes hand in hand with nutrition and that's exercising now I need to start exercising I'm not going to lie I'm planning on getting into the gym but definitely get into the gym girls get into the gym start doing yoga start doing pilates start doing regular you know fitness workouts at home you know a little bit goes a long way go for that jog go for that run it's not only good for the body but it's also good for the mind it helps with mental clarity it really is the bomb.com like i've been doing a lot of research because i really want to get into the whole fitness journey but it's a lifestyle it's a lifestyle but you could definitely do it and plus, who don't like a toned body? You know what I'm saying? You can get that nice shape that you want. You know, you could work on your cardiovascular. 
um, which is your heart, strengthen your heart. You know, it's a whole bunch of different things that you could get out of working out. Well, benefits that you could get from working out. Number four, this is my favorite, is upgrade your style. What you wear can significantly impact how you present yourself to the world. So when you have the time, go through your wardrobe. Find what clothes make you feel the most confident and make you feel the most beautiful, make you feel the most good about yourself. Try to experiment with different colors, different patterns, different fabrics. You never know what you might actually like and don't like if you don't take the time to assess your wardrobe the proper way. Sometimes we just go out and we just buy a cute shirt or buy a cute pair of pants, but we never end up wearing them because we don't really like it. It was just cute for the moment. So definitely go through your wardrobe and see exactly what your style is. And once you find your style, baby, you was going to be feeling like that girl, I promise you. And if you don't know, you can look up inspiration. You have social media, you have magazines, you have fashion blogs, you know, fashion channels on YouTube, different clothing hauls. You have so much inspiration that you have access to online. So if you don't know your style, definitely look up some inspiration and then try some things out. It doesn't hurt to try. True glow up goes way beyond your physical appearance. It extends to your mindset and it extends to the way that you perceive yourself and your confidence. Cultivate self-love and confidence by using daily affirmations, setting those boundaries, challenging your negative thoughts, and prioritizing self-care. Engage in activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. Whether it's pursuing a hobby, <laughs> going shopping, spending time with loved ones, whatever you are able to do to relax, definitely make sure that you incorporate that in your life. I'm pretty sure you're not going to be able to do it every day, but at least once a week. Surround yourself with supportive individuals that's going to uplift you and not put you down and make you feel bad about yourself. But instead encourages you and pushes you to do the things that you want to do and that you've dreamt of doing but you haven't had the confidence in doing. Glowing up is a holistic process and it's really about working on yourself, taking care of your mental, physical, and emotional well-being, and focusing on staying committed to your self-love journey, your self-improvement journey, your self-healing journey. That is ultimately what Glowing Up is. It's staying true to yourself and being mindful of the negative things that you don't want in your life and turning those negative things into positive things that you want. Focusing on the positive instead of the negative, basically. Celebrate all your little wins, just like if they're big wins, because a win is a win, and you can't lose if you're winning, right? Right. <laughs> And most of all, be happy with your uniqueness. Be confident in your uniqueness. Everyone is unique. Everyone doesn't have to be put in this little box that social media likes to portray. Be happy that you're unique and embrace your uniqueness. And once you embrace it and become confident within yourself, you're already glowing. That glowing up process already started. All right, you guys, so if you're into this video, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you get notified every time your girl posts a video. And yes, I hope you love these five tips just as much as I love them. And yes, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.